Welcome to the tutorial series on Mule Soft ESB. Today I will brief on building a RESTful API using Mule ESB. I would develop a RESTful API to support CRUD operation on a business entity department. We would use HTTP and DB connectors to achieve it and would be connecting to SQL Server 2008. You can visit my blog, the link is given in the video description below. Let's jump into the demo, create a new Mule project using AnyPoint Studio. Then add external reference of SQL jar, this helps us to connect to SQL Server. Remember SQL auth DLL should be there in bin folder for integrated authentication. In the message flow canvas drag and drop HTTP activity then configure connector configuration and set the path and allowed method as get. Now bring in database connector and in connector configuration choose generic database configuration and configure database URL and driver name as shown. Specify operation as select and then provide the select statement. Run the project and verify the flow using postman. object of the department is rendered. In order to render proper message, let's add an object to JSON transformer and then set content type using property activity as shown. Verify the flow using Postman. Let us develop another flow to support insert operation on the entity. Bring an HTTP connector and this HTTP listener accepts AJSUN input and supports post operation. Drag and drop JSON to object transformer in order to access the payload element map the transformer to hash map class. Bring in DB connector and configure it to support insert operation and write the insert statement with mail. Let's use set payload and property activities to render meaningful message back to the client. Run the project and verify the flows. On deployment, do HTTP post the request and on the successful response, we would do a get operation to verify the data. Now, let's see how to pass an access URI parameter inside Mule flow. Let parameterize a get operation to a retrieve specific entity using ID. In the HTTP listener path, enable URI parameter as shown. And the same is available under message inbound properties. This can be accessed using mail in DB connector as shown.
Now, let's add HTTP support for update operation on the end still using put as shown. Finally, create another flow to the delete operation on the end to using HTTP delete verb with query parameter as shown. Run and verify the mule restful API supporting CRUD operation on department entity. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again.